The Department of African American Studies offers both an undergraduate concentration and an undergraduate certificate that expand and deepen a student's understanding of race in the United States and in the world. Students who pursue and fulfill all of the requirements for the concentration are awarded a Bachelor's of Arts in African American Studies. Alternatively, the certificate in African American Studies is equivalent to an academic minor. Undergraduate students, whether they pursue the concentration or the certificate, select from the same course offerings. I knew I would earn the certificate in African American Studies when I first came in freshman year um, because I was always interested in learning about the histories and literatures of African American people. And my first class that I took in the department was AAS 201 with Professor Eddie Glaude. And it was through that class that I learned that everything else that I would learn in my other classes would be made more nuanced by considering the histories and literatures of black people um, in this country. One of my favorite experiences with African American studies has been the mentorship and advising um, through the department with the professors. So my thesis advisor, Professor Imani Perry, has been supportive and she's brilliant and she made writing my thesis a lot more enjoyable um, because, I felt, because I felt supported. The title of my thesis is Sing the Song of Her Possibilities, the Redefinition of the Black Girl Figure in Black Women's Literature of the 1970s and 1980s. And what I do is define the figure of the black girl and look at how black women writers of the 1970s and 1980s in the U.S. complicated the figure of the black girl and how they express resistance and resilience through black girl figures and also how they exp express pleasure and joy through black girl figures. After I graduate, I'll head to the University of Pennsylvania where I'll earn my Ph.D. in Africana Studies in English and I'll write my dissertation on the figure of the black girl in black women's literature. And in applying to graduate school, I felt like I had a team of advisors and mentors through this department in helping me decide what a graduate proposal should look like and what sort of questions I should be asking. Now, what is African American Studies at Princeton? Well, there are three subfields. There's African American culture and life, there's race and public policy, and there's global race and ethnicity. Uh, in African American culture and life, our students encounter the theoretical canon and keywords which shape the contemporary discipline of African American studies. They access a range of interdisciplinary areas situated primarily in the United States, and they learn to take a critical posture in examining the patterns and practices that order and transform black subjects and black life. Now, in race and public policy, there's a little bit of difference here. Students use and interrogate social science methodologies in examining the condition of the American state and of American institutions and practices. And with an analysis of race and ethnicity at the center, students examine the development of those institutions and practices with the growth and formation of racial and ethnic identities uh, in mind, including changing perceptions, measures, and reproduction of inequality. And then finally, there's global race and ethnicity. Uh, students use the prevailing analytical tools and critical perspectives of African American studies to consider comparative approaches to groups broadly defined. They examine the intellectual traditions, social, political context, expressive forms, and modes of belonging of people who are understood to share common experiences, common boundaries as either Africans in the African diaspora outside of the United States or as non-African descended people of color within the United States. So these are the three areas that our students can find their feet in African American studies here at Princeton. So one of the biggest reasons I chose African American Studies was actually because of a course that I took in my freshman spring. I took the new Jim Crow with Professor Naomi Murakawa. It was my first exposure to any African American Studies. So um, taking that class was, it was so eye-opening. It changed my life. I learned so much and I didn't realize that I had found something that I truly loved. It makes me so happy, it makes me angry, it makes me emotional, but if that's not passion, I don't really know what is. So I've decided to focus my studies around the subfield of race and public policy because I'm very interested in pursuing a career in law. Um, a lot of this interest also stemmed from the class I had taken in freshman year with Professor Murakawa, the new Jim Crow. 
So since freshman year, I have been interested in getting a certificate in African American Studies, but it was, I believe, the summer between my freshman and sophomore year that the Center for African American Studies became the Department of African American Studies, meaning that I could pursue a concentration in the department if I chose to. So that was a really exciting moment for me because that's when I started to really entertain the idea of being an African American Studies major at Princeton. Um, my parents have been really supportive of my decision to major in African American studies. Um, my mom was actually the one who told me, you know, Avanti, you're the, you love African American studies. I don't know why you're in this other department. Why don't you do what you love while you're in college? So she was actually the impetus that got me to pursue switching my major. Um, and since then on, my parents are so happy because I'm so happy and I love what I'm studying. And I come home and I'm just like, bursting with things to tell them about what I've been learning in classes so I think the fact that this department makes me so excited and I'm learning so much and I'm just enjoying Princeton so much more now that I'm studying something that I love um, that's reason enough for my parents to support my decision to major in this department.